Hello, hello. Welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's been... Life's well, been kind of crazy. Uh, in between the last time we were on Coffee Craft and now, I did not get a tree farm done. I did not get an improved melon pumpkin farm done. Uh, I don't even have the villagers. I need to... I need to harvest some more supplies. <laughs> And, uh, that, that just, that hasn't happened. That hasn't happened. Hmm. I need to let Reyes know that her vines finally reached the ground floor. Um, these guys, yeah, that is chock full. Uh, I think it was the pumpkins that I was short for that challenge I was working on over there. Cause yeah, uh, the real question though, the real question uh, I did spend a little bit of time in the mob farm, mostly because I knew I was going to need more arrows. And I think, I think I, I'm going to need some string for today's project. But let me, let me do the, let me do the tour. A hmm, couple of glass bottles are nice too. Alright. Let's turn some cactus into sand. Okay, I was kind of expecting that to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more beefy, but that works. That's still twenty sand right there, and that's paying the penalty for turning that in multiple times faster. Uh, again, uh, the way the challenges work, where he says requirements will reset in nineteen hours. That means if I wait nineteen hours, I only have to turn in the minimum number of cacti not the 144 cactus so you can turn them in more rapidly it just comes at a higher cost and uh yeah sometimes that's the cost i'm willing to pay uh let's go ahead and take care of a couple of those because i need i need some dirt too yeah we'll do one more and let me fill up those empty spaces. Let's try this again. Just because. There's no good reason for that. There's no real reason for that. But because. Alright. So there those guys are. Let's, uh... I need to get a proper nether wart farm going at some point too. Because the, these little four squares are not... Are not going to keep me in other wort. Although, until I get more potion brewing supplies, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily going to be an issue. Uh, I also suspect that some of these stations are going to go get moved to other locales, uh, only because. Uh, I need, like, I need a cleric. I'm not exactly swimming in blaze rods. So I'll probably just move that over to the trading hall. And, and same for a lot of these other items. Like, I, I don't need a bunch of grindstones sitting around. So I'll move that over to the trading hall. Same for the stone cutter. Even though I'd really like to have a stone cutter out here, I, I'm not that, I'm not that fussed about it. Uh... All right, stone cutter, uh, armor smith. Which one's the? I need an armor smith, a weapon smith, and a tool smith. Oh, the blast furnace. That that was the other one. Okay. All right. Uh, I forget which one was which, but uh, I'll manage that when I get there too. Alright, let's get the gunpowder put away. Let's get the string put away. Let's get the zombie flesh. And I'll probably put that in my miscellaneous chest for now, because I don't I don't have a good place to put that. Although wherever I end up putting the cleric, I might put a chest or a barrel under that under that brewing stand, so I can put, uh, 
water bottles and that sort of thing. All right, let's get the arrows. And since I haven't napped in a while. <coughs> and let's go ahead and let's break these down to uh, bone blocks now. Because there's no, there's no really good reason to, uh, there's no really good reason to, to have them as bones. I've got a few just in case, and actually I probably ought to load this up while I'm thinking about it. Um, I've got a few just in case, but bone blocks just takes up a lot less space. And uh, actually, I probably got enough to fill that system up, but eh, I, I'll let it be for now. I need to harvest the wheat and the potato. All right, because I got wheat and wheat. Oh, not all of it's grown. And oh, okay. For some reason, I didn't think I, I had planted the carrots up there. I'm trying to remember why I might have. Uh, it had to be for one of the challenges. All right. I I am gonna rework the design on this a little bit, and I think. In order to get it just a little bit wider, what I might do is instead of the water source coming from up top here and zigzagging down back and forth, I'll put the water source in the wall. And that way each of these can be eight long and then maybe put some uh, trap doors and then just have everything go straight down the same column instead of having to push items in a zigzag down each of these that will probably speed up the harvest time to the point that I could actually just hit a button and all of the floors will flush to the edge and then everything will fall straight down and all I'd need to do is rig up a bunch of the trap doors off to the side and maybe just run run a uh, <coughs> run a button with some delay. Well, I need to find some better ways of getting delay. And speaking of delay, I'm gonna check on the clock that runs the Sugar King farm because I suspect it has stopped again. And I need to I need to figure out what the deal is with that. I might need to, I might need to kill some of the delay and yeah, it stopped. Oh no, it's still going. Okay. Huh. I wonder why it stops when it does. The world may never know. I still need to, I still need to get a better clock together for that. But that is low on the priority list because... It still works. Um, it's not bad, though. All right. So, I'll have to spend a little more time with the mob farm. Uh, I I need <laughs> I need to get a sheep. Actually, I technically need to get two sheep: a red sheep and a blue sheep. This one has a little color. Um, sorry. Uh, one of the ways to get at least one sheep is to get two of every color wool. The problem is going to be getting some of those colors. Um, I could, uh, I could set up a little cocoa station. And I think I might just do that. Let me let me first get uh, <laughs> wow all that for five sandstone. 
Sadness. All right. Let's get that in there, and let's get the dirt in there. Starting to build that back up. Uh, did I not have a? You know, I need a place for. That's where all the proteins are gonna go. We'll, we'll put the the cooked veggies there, cause that's that's where I'm gonna need to to pull other foods. <laughs> Whole foods, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, where did I put... That's right. I jammed all my redstone into one barrel, and I'm going to have to definitely spread that out. Uh, hmm. All right. Is this how I want... Sure. Yeah, we, we, we can do it this way. We can do it this way. You know, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute, because I, I need to get the cocoa beans going too. And this is this is uh Alright, if I were me, where would I have put stone buttons? Would I have put that in oh. <laughs> I have a stone button. Uh and do I need a stone button or a wood button? No, I need a lever. Uh, where did... Oh. I have no levers. Alright. We can fix that. I just need... My last lone stick. I thought I had more than that. Uh, my last lone stick. And... A piece of cobble. So I can get my lever. I'm only going to need 16 jungle logs for the way I'm going to do this. I just need a small scale farm. Um, just needs to go across there. I got 16 of those. Uh, two of those. I'm going to... Oh! <laughs> I just spotted the flaw in my plan. I need... I need iron. Because I need two buckets. And I want to make sure I keep one bucket of water ready for... Whatever. Whatever's needed. Um... Hmm... Hmm. All right. That need uh, expert farmer. Expert farmer. Where's that? Horsing around. Deep sea carpenter. Technician. Emerald collector. Ah, there we go. That is waiting on the hundred and twenty-eight pumpkin, right? Why does that say more than that, though? Alright. I'll find out in a minute. Well, it's going to be two stacks of pumpkin that I'm waiting on for that challenge. I need... I need to figure out what I'm building this quick little farm out of, and then I'll get to the village of workstations. And I need to figure out where I'm going to put it. Because uh, stuff seems to have a habit of staying wherever I put it. Um, I could. I could technically... I could probably build this under, underneath the, uh, the, the cactus farm. Because, I mean... Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. That would also give me a chance to harvest it while I am here. Oh, wait a second. Alright. Nope. I solved my other problem, too. I don't need two water buckets. 
because I'm going to do this with more trapdoors. <laughs> uh, when all else fails, when all else fails, just grab a couple of trapdoors. Uh, there we go. Two trapdoors. I mean, thematically, I should make them out of jungle, but I'm running a little low on jungle. I, I'll get that. I'll get that tree farm going. I promise. Uh, I need stairs. And yeah, I guess if I do this right, I won't need to worry about anything else. Hey, medic. Whenever you're ready, come on by. Because uh, I'm going to need to power the block either behind or in front. I need... Let me grab two stone stairs. Eh, and I'll nap just because. All right, where was I going? I was going over here. Cause I'm trying to make better use of my space. Uh, and actually, I should probably build this on the other side of the... Even though I keep coming in here and going for the collection on this side. Uh, I should probably build this on the other side just because I know part of this overlaps into a into the slime chunk. So, technically, if I make any spawnable surfaces in this area, I've got to worry about uh, spawning slimes. Although, I can always take this, and I can take this and slab it up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. So, let's go. And we'll put a stair, a stair. We'll go log. Hang on. I gotta have all these facing the right way. <laughs> and I just realized I need... I can push those back a little. Yeah, I can push those back a little. And I'm gonna need... At least a couple of those as full blocks. All right. So if I do it like this, and then go like so, I can put that in the corner there, get a slabber on that. There's going to be redstone over there. So I don't have to worry about anything spawning on... Oh. Oh. I don't have enough clearance. Uh, it's just me for now. Arcadius uh, went to sit down for just a minute. He's got a bit of a headache. And Reyes does not home yet. I mean, I guess I could always just run this along the back here. I can do that. And since that is technically covered by those slabs, like I wouldn't be able to put anything over any of those. I don't have to worry about that. I'll slab these guys up. Uh, I might need to get... Yeah. <laughs> I might need to get some... Uh, some cobble. I really didn't want 
to do that. But ain't nothing over here looking pretty anyway, so, uh... <laughs> Alright. Let me go grab some cobble. Cobble, cobble. Oop. And I'll just take a stack with me. Uh, while I... Oh, wait. Uh, water bucket. I need my water bucket. Man, it, it, it's always funny to me that just how much you rely on certain things and it isn't until you have to do without that you suddenly, you know, begin to realize that that waterlogged trapdoor is not going to work. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what is going to work? Or is this going to be one of those things where I need to... Do something like... That. And slab it up. Oh yeah, this is ugly. So ugly. Um, I'll put a placeholder there. Put a placeholder there to get the trapdoors back in place. And I'll break you here, break you here. And then... failing at the epically simple task putting together a water source somewhere that I did it successfully. I, I <clears throat> Maybe it's a sign that I need to sip that coffee that's next to me a little bit more. Although. Although. Okay. 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 All right. That's what I'm doing wrong. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I got this. <clears throat> Maybe. Let me break the other one of these guys. I did not need the stairs. I didn't need... I don't need those two yet. I need that. I need to waterlog the actual block. Then those guys can go there. There we go. And then I just need one more drop of water. Drop of water. I just need one more bucket of water. So I can start getting these cocoa beans going. Oh, wait a second. I would have expected those to go one further. Oh, that's right, because the water source is 
back one. Okay. All right. So that means, unfortunately, I'm not getting quite as much as I thought I would. Yeah, not as much as I... I I'm getting two less growing spots than I otherwise would have. Um, because that that's just not... Uh, Because those guys just aren't, uh, yeah. Those guys just aren't complete sentences. Uh, <coughs> no, that's just me. All right, I need to power these blocks here. So technically... I need... Two full blocks. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. There are no spawnable surfaces because that has the lever, that has redstone, that has redstone, and the rest of that is slabbed up. That is ugly, but it works. So I can now get my one lone cocoa bean going. And the basic idea is that I plant out the cocoa bean and once it's ready to harvest, I flick that lever. Uh, much like the other farms, it is, it's frustratingly more manual than I wanted. But it's what I got. No, oh, I don't need that anymore. Um, I should probably find a way to get some light under there, though, only because that will help the, the, uh, that's what I can do. Will the jack-o'-lanterns go through? Jack-o'-lanterns will go through trap doors? Either way, I think jack-o'-lanterns can be powered, so I could always, I could always replace the two blocks on... Oh, which way am I going? I don't know. Just the tallest or second tallest structure in the whole stupid island? Um, yeah, if I remember right. Let me, uh, let's get that out of the way. Let's recover that real quick. If I remember right you should be able to power a jack-o'-lantern. Yes. Good. There we go. So now I've got the light levels up, which should help all the all the uh, all the stuff grow on its way over here. Uh, I mean, I might want to put another light somewhere else down here, just because. Uh, maybe I'll throw a torch up under that side. Actually, I should probably do that. Let me do that now while I'm thinking about it. And find a. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. If slimes weren't a spawnable block, I would I would totally coat every slime chunk in that instead of the platform that uh that sits there now. All right, let me uh 
block that back up. Let me grab those guys and there. And get those guys back in there. Get those guys back in there. And my two jungle logs back. And my bucket of water. Oh, and I was going to grab a torch. So I can make sure that the other side of that area is well lit as well. Because again, light levels do affect things' ability to grow. That's why I've got those jack-o'-lanterns there in front of the melon pumpkin farm. That pumpkin farm, I, I wonder how many, how many pumpkins have died, despawned, because it didn't happen to fall just in the center. That's something I'm going to have to work on. Alright, if I put the torch right there, that'll help get a little more light in here. And it won't get washed away by the water from these guys. So the basic idea is I hit the lever, it flushes and harvests all the cocoa beans and pushes it all to me down here. In past versions of the farm, I've put a couple of hoppers and a collection chest down at the end of this. But given the whole limited hopper thing... Uh, I, you know, nah, nah, oh, before I forget, let me grab a bunch of sugar cane, because now I remember what it was I was going to need all that sugar cane for. I am going to need a lot of paper, because I need to make a lot of... I need to figure out just how many librarians I want to have. Um, where's my island sign? So, 11. Eleven, you say? <laughs> Ignore that rank is one. Rank is one out of the people currently logged in. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't checked in a while. Uh, I don't think I set it to automatically recheck, too, just to be a little lighter on the server. All right, so I've got 16 villagers that I can have. Three of them are going to be tied up in an iron farm. Uh, my original thought was to build a wing probably in this direction since it doesn't bump into any slime chunks. Uh, cause I'm noticing building a level floor like this is, uh, putting me into an interesting predicament depending on where I go. But build, build a, building in this direction, the eight villager stations, eight villager stations, and maybe just plop a zombie. Uh, and let my villager hall double as my iron farm. But in order for that to work, I've got to make sure that in a certain space around where the village people are getting scared there is no room for an iron golem to spawn. Uh, and the other thing that I want to do is I want to set up a comparator off the box that grabs the, the iron and the poppies so that when the box is full, it hides the zombie and keeps him from scaring the villagers. Uh, what I might do do then is do a hallway with 14 villagers. Seven on one side, seven on the other. 
And then a room just past that. And maybe I'll maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just button up the floor for however many blocks away it is that I need to do that to keep the uh, to keep the the stuff from spawning. That's gonna oh that that that's gonna that's gonna look ugly though. Although this floor isn't exactly you know this ain't the prettiest either. So we shall see. In the meantime, I need books. I'm going to need more leather. I should probably also get a spot for paper, maybe? I don't know. All right, let me, uh, let me get another stack of zombie flesh cooking. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish that would go into the uh, blast furnace or something. It, it's definitely not going into the smoker because, uh, yeah. All right. I'll save my precious, precious iron. <laughs> as slender a resource as it is. Let's get the paper up. Let's get the books up. I need a little more leather, and then I can do that. Uh, oh. For the bookshelves. I'm going to need... I'm going to need to hit my dwindling lumber supplies a little bit harder. Uh... Bother. How bad? How bad do I want to run through and get a few things squared away? And just do some temporary uh, forestry harvesting. Mm. That's a bother. Do I have more? Oh, I already had a stack of books. All right, we'll do that there. Uh, I'll put the paper in here, where I will almost certainly forget it is for the moment. I need... Did I already make a... Okay, no. I figured I'd double check. <laughs> With my luck, I may have already made a bunch. How you doing, medic? Uh, doing good. Took me a little bit. Uh, I had to um, migrate my Microsoft account. Yeah, I I need to do that myself. Um, I just I I haven't gotten around to it just yet. But it, it is. I I do plan on doing it. I I, I will admit to being. Uh, more than marginally grumpy. Uh, it's something that they've been talking about for quite some time. Uh, I am a little grumpy about the people who have been uh, how do I even want to say this? Speaking of the transition in a way that would encourage others to put it off. As if it was only the two-factor authentication that made it worth the migration. And that is an exceptionally short-sighted view of both the problem and the process. How's that for diplomatic? Did did it did I manage? Yeah, you did pretty good. I'm trying. Oh, I didn't need twenty one of these either. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Uh why do I have a random mule in I okay. Uh, 
So yeah, it, it is something that I that I do intend to do very very soon. I just I keep forgetting. It's that short term memory problem. Can't remember what it's called though. Oh, I see you added a few more deaths to your uh, count since yeah. the last hour. Uh, yeah. Come on, buddy. Can't die if you don't log in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to get some villagers, and it went, it went poorly. Um, I thought you had to tame those guys first. Do you not? The donkeys or mules. Oh, yep. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. Do, do I need to go get like a fistful of sugar? Must not have been a whole lot of people logging in for a while. No, I, I think everybody's been more than marginally busy at the moment. Uh, I, 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 I haven't the few opportunities that I have. The the spirit was willing, but the energy was absent. Yeah, I just noticed Does that, that make sense? my, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I just noticed that my, uh, cactus farm wasn't even a quarter full. Yeah. Although, like I did last time, I'll probably come back and, uh, AFK over at my mob farm for a little bit to get some more arrows and string. I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do is start working on migrating a little bit of grass over to above where the slime farm is and set up a flower, you know, change this area over to a flower forest biome and then try to get, um, try to get a bunch of the missing dyes. But I want to set up an actual uh, flower making machine. Maybe. Although, no, if I do that, that's a slime chunk. No matter what I do, slimes will always spawn there. Never mind. I'll find a better place for it. That hasn't exactly been my highest priority, though. Dude, you won't have some serious holes in your place if you're not going to do anything in slime chunks, because. It's like whoever decided to uh, design this went overzealous with the slime chunks. Uh, a, that's the normal world generation. That that is that is the way it goes. And B, the slime chunks only produce slimes up to Y equals forty. Anything above that, they don't they don't spawn. So I, I could actually do that and build the build the I could build the flower forest farm on top of where the mob farm is. And it should be fine because I think I think the top of that is above forty, so that way uh, slimes didn't spawn in the mob farm. Now I feel the need to double check, but yeah, uh, slime chunks only produce slimes below Y forty. So like the the decorative island above. That's not going to be a problem. I just got to make sure that this area that's uh, desert is thoroughly mob-proofed. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I could build the flower forest bit right up here. And no, no slimes would spawn. Other stuff would. So I would have to keep it lit up for the other mobs. But, uh... Four, two, four. There we go. From there on down, I'll I'll need uh I'll need to be extra careful. Now I just got to figure out how some of the spiders 
didn't die what they grabbed a hold of along the, along the way down. Although, once I get a sheep or two, since I can, since we got the custom recipe to break uh, wool down to string, uh, I'll probably block spider spawns in there after we after I get a, a at least one sheep. Because then I'll just be able to shear him for the wool. I think my farmers have finally run out of beet seeds. <laughs> That's right. You've been on a quest to uh, to get them to to start planting something other than beetroot. Yes, and it looks like that they finally switched over to potatoes, which is what I was wanting. <laughs> Where are these guys at? Over here by oh. the... Oh. <laughs> I, uh... Are you able to get out of the house? Nope. I'm not able to get out of the oh. welcome center. Oh, I mean, I'm sure if I got very creative about it, I could probably make that happen anyway, but, uh... Yeah, Arcadius has found a way of getting out. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I get a little creative around that area there, I could find just the right spot to jump. They're over here. They're asleep right now. Yeah. I feel the same. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, man. I after I had ate uh, ate my, my little dinner, I really just want to go to bed. But I haven't been on in what three weeks now. Yeah, pretty close to. So, so I I kind of is like, well, I, I really need to log in, and if nothing else, at least show a little support. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still trying to work out my gaming schedule in my head with uh, with work. With work. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Well, uh, I mean, most people are absolutely okay with you know working nine to five and then playing in the evenings, but for some reason. Every time I want to play after work, I'm just so tired. And then, of course, I have house stuff I have to do. And yeah, I still haven't got to the point to where I can. Um, you still got the regular life go stuff, Leon, the, the, the dishes and the laundry and the shopping. And yep. So I'm still I'm still trying to work out a schedule. Uh, which I will have before the 28th, I can tell you that. Ah. Um, but working on a schedule, figure out exactly how I'm going to do it. Well, definitely keep us all on the loop. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Tuesday nights are still... Yeah, still Coffee Craft. craft. And uh, Saturdays are still going to be free. You know, still not going to do any, any type of stuff on Saturdays. Um, it's the other days that I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do. Actually, I wonder if I should just do... That same style setup, but for the nether wart. How much nether wart do I really need? I've got a ton of it because I don't ever use it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't have much, but I haven't been using it. I need to. I need to get some sort of a blaze farm squared away too. Yeah, that's kind of my why I'm not. I haven't been using this because I don't want to burn through what little blaze I have. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got the three blaze powder. Of course, that still gets you through. I guess you threw more potions than you realize. But still, I need, I need to get cracking on getting some more gold too. Oh, that's what I need to work on. I've oh. got to get uh, I got to get my my new gold farm done. Ah, because right now my the the Nether is all Mushroom Island. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because yeah, I was uh, I was looking for my skeletal dudes. Let's, uh... All right. If I... Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Oh, let me go grab... some torches. I think, uh, nope. dude, you're in the way. <laughs> Where's my coal? It's actually more torches than I needed, but they're not going to go to waste. That was fast. What was that? The, uh... The grass block. Oh, no, 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 no. Without the falling. Without the falling. Let's do it this way then. We'll put a slab there, the dirt there. Then we'll get the slab back. No, we won't. Oh. Yep. 
I gotta get the <laughs> I, I gotta fix the noise gate. He gets a smidge loud. Lovable, but loud. Oh, so like Arcadius. <laughs> I don't think he's there to hear you. There we go. Let's take a bunch with me in that way. As they drop, I don't care. I'm going to start working on getting some of the dirt lower. What? That was Jubba doing that shake. torch because the light levels will help the grass grow and it will also help stop anything else from uh, appearing there. Actually, actually, instead of, um, instead of half slabs that are a pain to break, get all those slime blocks just sitting there. easier. And if it gets lost, I don't care. I mean, okay. I, I care. <laughs> uh, that's why I got a water puddle. I don't want to do a repeat performance of uh, Alt F4. <laughs> that was Friday. Today's a different day. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny, you know, like I uh, log in. It was funny for somebody. <laughs> you're at you know, nine deaths, and then I go talk to my brother for a little bit and come back. You're at eighty one deaths and then I went and go take a shower real quick, come back, you're at two hundred and twenty one deaths. I I didn't hit two hundred and twenty one. <laughs> I only hit 150 something. I could have swore you were in the 200s. Nah. Nah. I, w I was only in the uh, the hundred and hundred and some odd. I still think it's funny that they change you into a golden knight after your hundredth death. I, I keep wondering what the what the 200 is going to be. Diamond Knight. 
There he is. Maybe once he gets a little coffee in him, he'll uh, come join us. Keep an eye out for the Hoss Patrol. That, that stuff just irks me to no end. People. People being people. Gonna take a nap in the nether? <laughs> no, 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 I'm trying not to do I think if I do another harvest of my uh, crop farm, I'll be able to pick up a little more. Well, honestly, I don't need to bring this all the way down. I just need to bring this up to 50 or so, and then I'll be at a place where I can run it across. without uh with just what I got. About the falling. Of course this isn't what I thought I was gonna be doing today. I thought I was gonna be building out the uh the hall for the village people that I haven't picked up yet. is still on the agenda, but I just realized that uh, I didn't I didn't think that went all the way through. I need I need some some way to set up so that I can attach the iron farm. I gotta figure out how far away Iron Golem spawn, because I, I think I might be able to integrate the Trading Hall Iron Farm together. So instead of being off of the main storage area, I may need to go, like, build it off in a corner somewhere. Uh, probably far enough away that they don't spawn on any of your stuff. Or any of Rayest's stuff.
going on? I don't think I ever heard uh, what you thought about that uh, that image, that game capture I put in the Discord. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know. I... Well, what? that was awesome. What's to say? It was awesome. Sure. It was awesome. You had no idea how hard it was for me to not leave my uh, my dude like that. Yeah, why don't you? Because that's not me, that's you. <laughs> so how are you liking New World? Like, how, how does it how does it compare to some of the other MMOs that you've done? You know, there actually, there's not really a comparison. Um, at first, I was hoping that it was going to be like World of Warcraft. Okay. Until I remembered all the things about World of Warcraft that I didn't like. <laughs> so, so, it's not filling so that wow shape hole. Well, basically, what it was, you know, as far as uh, World of Warcraft goes, is... Um, you know, World of Warcraft, I had, uh, a lot of fond memories of, mm -hmm. you know, just a lot of different things that gave me fond memories. And that's what I missed the most about World of Warcraft was, you know, the friends that I played with and the fond memories that I had, not the actual game itself. Uh. So then I started thinking about some of the other MMORPGs I've played in the past like Aeon and Rift and mm. you know I, I was thinking to myself okay what are the good things about that that I like versus the bad things and the more that I played New World I just kind of realized that it has its own its own little thing mm. you know about it and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it absolutely enjoyed it so is it more of the adventuring questing like world of warcraft knights of the old republic uh sorry no the old republic not knights of the old republic knights of the old republic is the good game not the uh not the mmo uh, also, it, Knights of the Old Republic is possibly going to be reissued on uh, PlayStation soon. It does have, like, quests and stuff like that. Okay. But I hear a butt. The, the difference... You're not really questing I mean you're questing to level but it's not that big of a deal um your your actual level as far as what you can do in the game isn't really a deciding factor really um I stay I stayed away from PvP because number one I'm not a good PvP -er. <laughs> And number two, because everybody was already so much higher than me, because it had been, what, two days in before I could actually play? Oh. Um, you know, so everybody was higher than me, and so I stayed away from it. But I later read that they actually have PvP scaling, uh, so it didn't really matter, in, in, unless you're getting like 10, 15 levels ahead doesn't really matter what level you are pvp wise you're you're equal in damage it's just a matter of skill at that point huh okay skill class uh you know your skill your class and your your weapon um like how much points you have in your in your weapons your weapons are the big thing okay so i liked that 
You know, I liked the fact that I didn't have to really worry about grinding out 60 levels real quick so I can, can be effective at doing things. You know, I just go out there and work on my weapons. Um, now, I love the way they have integrated resources into, uh, into how, um, how fast you level, um, the crafting itself, you know, all of your resources are actually very important. Okay. Um, and they, it gives you incentives to go out and be, uh, be highly efficient in gathering resources. Uh, you know, it's not like in World of Warcraft where, you know, gathering resources was a chore. Or you, know, you oh, figured oh, out the good. mountain range to go mine all the copper and you just kind of did your grindy loop. Yeah, it's, it's not not like that entirely. I mean, yes, it's still kind of grindy, but... Of course, that seems it, to be the nature of resource gathering, too. Well, the thing is, is that it, it ties a lot of stuff together. Give me an example. It took me a while to find my first iron node. Okay. But when I found that iron node and I found other iron nodes around it, you know, I started, uh, started gathering up that, uh, that iron and I started getting gems in the iron. Huh. Um, and the gems, depending on what type of gems you get, can give you different bonuses to your weapons. Um, whenever you're crafting a weapon, uh, but it also can give you different, uh, things to use for alchemy or, uh, when you're digging up, going around herbing and you're picking plants, you're getting stuff that will help you with, with alchemy. It helps you with cooking. It helps you with, um, uh, tanning because hmm. some of the plants give you stuff to make uh, string out of and, you know, so it helps you with with tanning. It's like they tied everything in together, and it's it's not a chore. Um, as a matter of fact, I think Arcadius and I spent most of our time gathering. Okay, you know, because because it wasn't really a chore. It, it was fun. And then on top of that, you know, you're not locked into a class. You're not a tank. You're not a. Uh, uh, I mean, you're not you're not a warrior tank. You're not a paladin healer. You're not okay. you know any. You're not locked into anything. As so, a, to give the hmm? has Reyes figured out how to crash the market yet? Oh, I'm sure she's going to. You know, after finding out that Arcadius's character had like 200 Azoth on it, which is some kind of, I guess, rare thing because <laughs> I I never found any of it. And literally all she did was gather. So I'm sure she's going to figure out a way of crashing the market. Okay. Does, you, you know uh, that she know. has a deep and rich history of uh, manipulating in-game markets. Like the great, well, the, the great turn-up fiasco of, uh, 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 of uh, oh, what was it? What was that farming game for the Wii that everybody was playing that, that somebody figured out how to crash the turnip market? I don't know. Huh? I never really played no, Wii. No, not Stardew. Um, oh, come on. How can I not remember? The, well, I know how I cannot remember this. So that's not... Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, that's going to bother me. It's right there at the tip of my tongue. A any, anyway, yeah, I, I, I get what you're getting at, though. Ow! Yeah, um... You know, as far as the classes go, you know, number one, you're not locked into anything. Uh, I started off with a sword and shield. Really liked it. You know, you would think sword and shield strictly tanking. Not really. Hmm. You know, I was doing decent damage with it. 
um, because I chose to go down a DPS path with my sword and shield. Um, but then I decided, well, you know what? I want to try the rapier. So I started playing with the rapier. It was so much fun. It was amazing. <laughs> Uh, and then on top of that, you know, so let's say, uh, like, for instance, Arcadius was playing with a life wand, you know, so healing, but then he wanted to try out the two-handed axe. So he just picked up the two-handed axe and started going to town. At that point, I'm like, well, I'll switch over to ranged and I start playing with the bow. And, you know, you can level all of your, your weapons up at the same time. I mean, not at the same time, but, you yeah. know, you, uh, you, you, you're not you're tied not, to a specific idiom once you... Right. Um, now, once you hit level 20, it actually costs you money to respec. Uh, okay. So, but the weapons, the way they're tied together, um, you know, if you if you have a primary dex, a prim, primarily dex driven character, then you know you have access to melee weapons like the rapier and okay. the spear. Um, you also have uh, range weapons like the bow and the musket, um, and you know you, you pretty much go from that. Uh, I think the only weapon that only has one uh, stat tied to it is that life wand that has focus, and it's the only one with focus. Hmm. So that kind of sucks. But like for instance, let's say I wanted to, or you know, I was like for I was running the sword and board. That's a primarily strength um, so build. It, it is still the the fantasy style, mostly medieval weaponry with uh, what early firearms. Uh, well, yes and, and no. Um, you know, Warcraft. You had a blunderbuss. That's that's what your yeah the worgen. You know, yeah, the most modern thing that you could have was like a blunderbuss. Mm -hmm. um, basically, think of it like this: with, with New World, the the whole storyline is it's I'm thinking like 1500s America, uh, a world, okay, uh, Earth, 1500s, and they stumble across an island that. Once you get to, you can't get off of. That is corrupted. It's got corruption on it that that corrupts your soul and creates magical stuff, magical beings and things. Um, so you're running around fighting skeletons and things like that. But you know, it's also just a a regular Earth world. There's no, you can't be a different race. Everybody's human. Okay. Okay, um, so there's no like elves and dwarves and Nope. Okay. Nope, everybody's human. Um you know, all of the armor and weaponry is the same armor and weaponry that you would have on Earth during that that period in its history. Okay. Uh, even the, the ships and the housing and stuff like that, you don't see, you know, houses being made inside of glowing trees. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, yeah. Best I can explain is it's, it's like, uh, uh, 1500s earth and you come across Jurassic park, but it's actually a magic corrupted park. Okay. With regular animals and stuff. So, you know, I was running around harvesting pigs and, and rabbits and turkey. And I'm hungry food again. And... <laughs> <laughs> you know, for, for food and leather and, and armor and that kind of stuff. Is the, uh, you know, is the crafting system kind of similar to most of the... Like... You, you get one or two crafts that you can specialize in, or is this a little more broad as well, where you can pick up any and all crafts? You're not limited to just the one or two that you decide to make. You can pick up anything. You can pick up any craft you want to. 
Um, the more you specialize, the better stuff you can make in that craft. Okay. Uh, and once you start getting into the really high level stuff, it's almost it would not it's not impossible i mean you could max out everything but it becomes very very difficult the higher you get to max everything out because of the sheer amount of resources that you need to to do so okay to do the higher level crafting uh right well to to max out all your crafting okay. um but you you literally can can do anything i i had all uh, as a matter of fact, it even has a spot on your, um, in your character area, you know, where your armor, weapons, and stuff like that is, where you literally make every tool that, you know, to, to be able to do every craft. Hmm. So you're encouraged to do all the crafts. It's just, they're, you're also highly encouraged to specialize in one or one two. Or two. So you could specialize in one or two and be a generalist in the rest. Right. And, and be relatively self-sufficient. Correct. Okay. And, you know, another thing I really loved about the crafting was you don't go up and, and you know, say, okay, I want to make uh, ten of these. And then you have to wait for the animation to go through and you know, 10 times to do. It just, it says, okay, you, you've made 10 of these and here's the experience for it. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. But the, the crafting, I absolutely love the crafting. I love the, the resource gathering. And the more I was messing with the, um, uh, I started with sword and board and a bow and really enjoyed both of those. And then I decided to switch over to the rapier and bow and loved that. And on top of that, you're not like when I say you're not stuck with one spec, you know, like in say world of Warcraft, if you're running around as a, as a fury warrior yep. and you decide you want to go to a prop warrior, you have to go respec. Okay. You, you don't have to do that in this game. In this game... You, you know, just start working have, down the other tree? Well, yeah, there's that as well. But what I'm saying is, you know, you have you have two weapon slots. So okay. your first weapon slot, like for me, I had a rapier. So I'm melee DPS, tearing through stuff with a rapier. And then, you know, I immediately switch to the bow. And I've already got all the stuff for the bow. And I just start hmm. doing that. So, like, for instance, one of the things I would do is I would step back... I would fire long distance, hit something with a with a uh, with the bow, and then as the thing cha charged toward me, I just switched to my rapier, and when it got to me, I DPSed him down, and it okay. split the experience between both weapons. So I was leveling both my weapons, both my classes, and I use that term with the air Loose floats. Leaps. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was leveling both my classes at the same time. Okay. Yeah, very, very fun. It's different than any MMO I've played before, but it fills the, I really wish I had an MMO spot. Okay. You know, uh, prior to that, I, I've tried out uh, Guild Wars 2, which I, I actually enjoy a little bit, um, and Final Fantasy fourteen which at first I really didn't like, but then I, it kind of started growing on me. But New World's just different than both of them, and... And it sounds like different in a uh, good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it had issues, you know. There well, was, I mean, it, still it's bugs. still in the early... Is it in beta, or is it a uh, final release? Well, final release is the 28th. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give a game flack about having bugs until it's hit its first release, and even then, I might cut them a little slack if it's the initial release, because I, I know I know how that goes. You 
know how that goes, huh? Yeah, I know how that goes. <laughs> how you doing, Arcadius? Yeah, How's there's an Arcadius. Yeah. Sounds like you two are talking about an amazing video game. Yeah, I, I hear you might have a little interest in it yourself. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> maybe. A little. Yeah, I'm, maybe more than a little. I'm just glad that Reyes bought it. <laughs> so is this a uh, is this a subscription thing or is this a one and in, one and you're good? It's a, it's a one and done. Now there's worries. There are people that are worrying that it's going to be a pay the win. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, Wargame is not in charge of it, right? N no. But from what I understand, the only things in the store are going to be all cosmetic stuff. Okay. Uh, a lot of good games find their uh, money-making venture in that department. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As long as they don't move towards uh, pay to win. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, before World of Warcraft... Um, basically became pay to win with their bow token uh before that i, I probably i probably dropped five six hundred dollars on transmog stuff over the years mounts pets yeah transmog i was gonna say a lot of people probably spent money on mounts and pets and things i remember some similar stuff with uh the old republic too Getting some fancy little custom gear and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but as long as it wasn't better than anything you could get in-game without yeah. much hassle, I can't give it much flack. No, if you're getting, like, epic raid gear... Uh, know, stuff well, well, that's, ju that's just it. You know, uh, a, you know, a land speeder that's maybe 10% faster. Ooh. You know, you know that that's nice and that's fun, but nobody's... Uh, yeah, Fortnite does that too. Um, but I mean, 10% faster through town isn't game-breaking. You know, people might be jealous, but they're not going to be... Uh, they're not going to be put at a disadvantage for it. Exactly. And, and I guess that's the real thing. As long as they make sure that whatever it is that you buy doesn't put those who don't buy at disadvantage well, I guess that's the question does Amazon learn from others mistakes or <laughs> do they repeat them yeah that would be the question I know a company they should not talk to because <laughs> apparently they're getting ready to uh, Wargaming is getting ready to Change the crew skills system. Oh, Lord. Uh, and it has a lot of people upset. Not not just because, you know, it, not in the who moved my cheese kind of upset, but in the... Uh, this, this changes everything kind of way. I didn't get the particulars of what the crew skill changes were other than uh, the, the community has a very unkind name for, uh, for the crew shills update. <laughs> yeah, I hate it when people move my cheese. Yeah, I hate it more when I think someone moved my cheese and in truth all I did was eat it. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. True. I get really upset. I'll be like running around like, where's my cheese? No, oh, you could ask Jubba where your cheese is. Yeah, he's the first culprit I normally look at. <laughs> that and breadsticks. <laughs> oh, breadsticks. <laughs> I, I'm sure we've talked about it on stream before, but it's one of those things that it, it's just too too special not to repeat uh we were we were all at my house for a regular gaming weekend and 
Uh, I had ordered pizza and breadsticks. And Arcadius is standing there talking. He's got a breadstick in his hand. Uh, he sets his hand down by his thigh for not even half a second. And he goes to bring it back up. And all the breadstick past his finger is missing. He didn't even notice. Because some very special pooch nabbed the entirety of the breadstick that was sticking out past his hand. It, it yeah. was it was an amazing display of uh, a very very sneaky puppy. That's a good job. <laughs> yeah, you say that until it's your breadstick that's missing. Well, no, see, that's 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 where we differ because you know, if it was my breadstick, it would have been gone before my hand even went down there. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, you know, in all honesty, I can't really, I can't really say anything because uh, when I had a dog, my last mm -hmm. dog, Ginger, uh, if I put my hand down with any food in there, it was gone real quick. So I kind of got, you know, used to the point of never putting my hand down with food. Yeah. And uh, even now, she's she's been gone six years now, I think. And even now, I'll put my hand, like, I'll have something in my hand that I'm eating, and I'll put my hand out, and then immediately pull it back in, thinking she's getting ready to grab it. She's been gone, like, six years. <laughs> so, she, she trained me well. Is that training, or is that, like, <laughs> conditioning? <laughs> yes. Little of column A, little of column B. Why can't they give me skeleton patches like they give me slime patches? Oh. <laughs> uh, next time we do something like this, I'll have to figure out how to work in the uh, the marketplace so you can buy a spawner. Yeah, I am. That, that way you can make a pig spawner over a fire pit. Five, six. I, I, I'm. I've already checked seven chunks. Still no skeletons. <laughs> oh, come on. Unless, of course, I'm not. I haven't put down the right blocks. Does it have to be a full block, or can uh, it be a top slab? Top slab will work. You also have to be far enough away for stuff to spawn. And some nether bricks, right? Uh, nether... Oh, full wait. Bricks. Uh, that does need to be a full block. I'm sorry. That... <sighs> I, I was... Misunderstood... I, I misunderstood that one, too. Can you, can you hear that? Oh. <sighs> Yeah. Hey, Jubba. Yeah, that's what I said when I accidentally stripped a jungle log. <sighs> uh, <laughs> no, it went down to the lava. Oh. I'm surprised you still haven't uh, managed to make your entire floor in the uh, nether side too. You know, just above the lava. Oh, I don't. I don't want to do the whole thing because I want to be able to grab lava buckets. So maybe you make it out of trapdoors. Really, you're going to give me that idea now. <laughs> What are friends for? I still want to... Man, that's three of them now that I've lost to the lava. 
Oh, you know what? Actually, I know what I want to make the whole floor out of down there. What? Slime. So I can just drop down above the lava in trampoline. Uh, just remember that slime is a spawnable block. So you might end up with uh, more than you intended. What about honey? Uh, honey is not spawnable. You don't bounce, but it absorbs 80% of your fall damage, if I remember right. <laughs> 500 minus 80. I'm still dead. No, 80%, not 80 I guess it just comes down to how far you're falling, I guess. Yeah. Check this Besides, again. don't you have some feather falling boots? Uh, uh, no. No? There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to build, I was going to build a villager trading hall just, you know, just off of here. But I think, I think I want to figure out if I can design the entire hall to also function as, as the iron farm. I think I can get that to work. Harvest some oak while I'm at it, too. So I can get a few more apples. together a vine farm now that I got some vines. I wonder how I want to manage that one. Speaking of farms, I bet the cocoa farm's ready to harvest again. I'll check on the what pumpkins in a minute too. Uh, something potions. Fire resistance. Yeah, fire resistance. That's something. No, what do we need magma cream for? Because I've been getting, I just got a lot of mag, 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 magma cream. Magma? Magma. You gonna go with the Dark or Evil, uh, magma? Magma. Uh, beyond the potions, you can also use it to make, um, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my absolutely stunning memory, uh, these guys, the, the, the magma blocks. Oh, yeah, that's what it was.
<laughs> so it wasn't the strength potions that you're after? No. No? No. Oh, seriously. No, it was the uh, magma blocks. I, I remember thinking that uh, I need magma cream to make the magma blocks, but I don't need it now. Yeah, not with uh, not with as much as uh, seem to generate now. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Yeah, there's a, yeah, yeah, I got a skeleton. <laughs> I, I I think that's the first time somebody's been out. Happy to see a wither skeleton. Now if I can just get him to come over to me and fall down in my lovely little <laughs> pit of death. The pit of despair. You shouldn't even think about getting out. Yeah. Can you actually fish in a uh, half slab, a waterlogged half slab? Or, uh, or no, no, I've never tried. Or do I do I need to break down and actually make a little fishing hole? The rain reminded me that I still haven't done any of the fishing stuff, and I probably ought to. Let's get some more dark oak. Come on, Mr. Skeleton. Loose, I shoot you. <laughs> you can always get a uh, turtle egg to lure them in. One of the challenges gives you one. I think I have a turtle egg. Just don't tell Rast. But it it lures in the skeletons. Any undead. Hmm. To the best of my knowledge, it's any of the undead. I know it does the zombie pigmen and zombies. Uh, I know it. I thought it did the skeletons. Alternately, uh, I would. I would have to double check this one. I think you can set up a dog to scare them too. I don't know if that works on the wither skeletons though. I know that does work on the regular skeletons. Where you can scare them down a hall or off a platform with uh, dogs. I was looking at some of the different mob sorters that people have put together. Yeah, some of them take advantage of the, the height differences. Like, they put them down a water stream and uh, <laughs> make, make, make a hole just big enough that the creepers can fit through so they go down one side and then everything else goes down another. And then uh, they put a... Um, I think they put a dog on one hall, one side to scare the skeletons off to the other. And, uh, that oak tree did not give me four saplings back. Dang it. Uh, but yeah, taking advantage of all those mechanics to, to figure out how to shuffle the mobs where, where they wanted them. Oh, I just accidentally shot him off into lava. Not, well, he's not dead yet. You know, if you're careful, you might be able to lure him back out.
there. Getting uh getting villagers. I would like to stop running through stone tools as quick. And instead run through iron <laughs> iron tools that quick. <laughs> uh, or you just get your villagers that uh sells you your tools and Oh yeah, that that is the ultimate goal is to just buy diamond tools from one of the villagers until I can get somebody with a mending uh with a mending book. Uh, that is one of the things that I could do though, start laying out the workstations to figure out who I want. I know I want an armor smith, a toolsmith, a blacksmith. I need at least one cleric. Um uh, I'm probably going to get a cartographer because <laughs> I, I didn't realize it until Green showed it off uh, a while back that the librarians sell you enough glass that you can then convert to panes and turn a profit uh, with the with the uh, cartographers. So get it. I know I'm gonna have a bunch of librarians anyway. I don't think I'm gonna worry. No, I probably will get at least one farmer. I don't think I'm gonna worry about a fisherman. I might do a Fletcher. Let's see. Armor definitely. Butcher definitely not. Photographer. Cleric. Farmer. Well, you can always do what me and Arcadius did. What? I got certain ones, he got certain ones, and then we just trade back and forth. Nah, but then it's not my island. No man is an island, but I am trying. No, that's just being a hermit. Oh, that is my natural inclination anyway. You're not a coffee crafter oh, anymore. Now you're a hermit. <laughs> your natural inclination is dwarf. There's a difference. <laughs> uh, trade is healthy. And dwarves will trade as long as it profits them. Uh, are we are we talking your standard fantasy dwarves or the Eberron dwarves? Because. Uh... I, I know Keith Baker took the Eberron Dwarves into a very, very special place. Uh, I, I do appreciate the Eberron setting, though, a lot. I love it. It, it is yes. by far and away my favorite, my favorite world to play in. Lightning. Nope. Uh, that means we all get asleep, doesn't it? Although, I don't have, uh, I don't have villagers to worry about. <laughs> uh -huh. Nah, I just gotta worry about ending up with, uh... I just gotta worry up with, uh, worry, worry about ending up with a few more skeletal horses floating around somewhere. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you? I have skeletal horses in my palace garden. <laughs> ah, entertaining guests, I see. <laughs> Party at Arcadius's place. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. I can't go to the uh, 
the skeleton into coming at me from this distance, and I even after shooting them. Oh. Hmm. So I guess it's going to have to be a uh, an egg. Oh, that's right. I was going to say, do you want me to come over there and help? But I can't. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. I can get shot, but I can't kill him. Where is he at? Stuff on other people's islands all the time. Nah. Where is he at? When, when I got mugged by a spider on Reyes's island, it told me I couldn't kill it. Where huh. is he at? He is at oh, his island. No, 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 no. What? Where? Where is the skeleton at? Huh? Uh, look for Arcadius' dead body. Look, I, I'm just happy Arcadius is uh, pulling ahead further in the death count. It's okay. You'll catch up soon. Yeah, as soon as I start working, I get more villagers again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was not a good endeavor for you. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 did not go well at all. I I'm I'm seriously rethinking a lot of how I worry how I work that out because the problem is somebody bumps into the skeleton which starts shooting everything and then everything starts fighting everything. Creepers start blowing up because they're getting caught in the crossfire between the skeletons and the zombies. So I'm thinking since I got the dog, I might set the dog in the center and put a skeleton trap down the left and right side. Uh, and that just leaves the, uh, the creepers and the, and the zombies to worry about. Uh, if I can, if I, if I can f remember which challenge it is that gives you a cat egg, uh, I can then get a cat and use that to scare the creepers in the same way. And that should leave just the zombies, which I can then start, you know, that's all I got to worry about. Did I distract them enough? Yep, they're dead. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. I apparently have a, a new horse. <laughs> along with the two I already had. Oh, the skeletal horses? Yeah. Yeah. I had one spawn in the open field over there one time, and I got two of the horses out of that batch, and this time I only got one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's oh, a little have better. On. On had some. Yeah. I got a couple over here. Oh, they're still there? I didn't see them last time I was over there. No, they're there. They're, they're tied up. Back behind where the storage has been building in. Actually. Can, uh... Oh, come on. Do I need to feed him? What do I need to do to tame a mule? Fine. I'll figure out what to do about you later. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. I need a... What else am I low on? What else can I grow in a hurry? I got a few stacks of dark oak, a few stacks of spruce. Acacia's not in a hurry. I got some stacks of jungle now. Uh, I could do some more oak. Branches like this right here. the oak. That, that was too frustrating. Or maybe I'll start working on getting enough pistons to automate that. gonna worry about that. Alright, we'll call that done. We'll call that done for now. I, I did what I set out for. I got I got a little I got enough lumber to get myself set back up. I can do more later. Birch oak. Some sticks. mentioned that I miss having an automatically sorting storage system. Only about 16 times a season. See, you miss stuff like that. I miss <laughs> stuff like having dirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, dirt dirt's nice, I'm not going to lie, but, uh, you know... Having a having a uh, a wool farm. Uh, now that there we go. Having a nice wool farm. Yeah, I I need some temporary blocks, or I need some I need some stuff to hide a few things. Like yes, yes, please. Oi. I'm I'm right there with you, dude. Yeah. Sleep got a little better for a while there and it's been back to back to worse, if that makes sense. Yeah. I got a doctor's appointment to follow up on that, uh, in a couple of weeks. I, I don't know if this is an adjustment thing or not.
I definitely get some cocoa quick. I go get a barrel. I'll leave that over here. Or chest. I think I've already got a chest made. thematically but uh that also makes it a spawnable surface and if I drop it just right there I can open that's not a space big enough for anything to spawn I don't think maybe I'll put something there anyway just to be sure I got a glass block. I could put a glass block there. What can I put there that's going to spawn proof that? Just to be sure. I keep double tapping jump like I'm going to glide down or something. I don't have an end portal. I don't have That's anywhere. That's where one of my deaths came from. What, trying to work on getting the end portal? No, early on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Forgetting that I you don't have Elytra? Down. Yeah, I jumped off the side and double hit, double hit the thing that started gliding and uh, <laughs> yeah. It wasn't there. Yeah. Where you accidentally fall and you start double clicking really fast, wondering why it's not kicking in. Why, why is my elytra not to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what <Well>, you see. <laughs> Once you uh, become a partner in gravity's sweet embrace. <laughs> oh, I had a spot for vapor. What happened? Oh, I forgot that I needed to make a few more item frames, too. Uh, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Does anybody have? Jungle or oak leaves laying about? Yes. I have precisely one jungle leaf. Because I picked up by accident getting uh, getting the vines. You said or oak? Yep. Uh, that's a negative. Go Ooh. fish. <laughs> I'll do that later. I have... <laughs> I mean... On the one hand, okay. yes, you're being funny, but on the other hand, I I absolutely believe that. I absolutely believe that. You should. That's definitely what I'll be doing. <laughs> what are you, you saying, about, You talking about in, uh... Uh... <laughs> if the game has what? fishing, Arcadius is in it fishing. Let, let, let's, uh, you know... Okay, well, let's just... Well, first off, do you have any of those leaves? I did, Second I off, I will yeah. take all you have for whatever you want traded for them. Second off, the whole reason I'm going the healing staff or the life staff in New World <laughs> is because if you look under the skill tree, the life staff is primarily used with the focus attribute. The focus attribute is also the leading stat for fishing. And the fishing in that game is actually really fun. Sorry, uh, oh, I, I I went to become a healer so I could go fishing. That's yeah, true. <laughs> I gotta have something to do while I'm waiting for the rest of the team to get back because they were stupid and went off the head without me. Wait, 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 wait. Are are you? Are you Arcadius? Grumbling about. Adventuring groups running ahead of the remainder of the group? 
Yeah. Okay, I, I, I just wanted to make sure that, that was clear. I kind of wish Ray Est was on to, to throw just a hair more shade into that question than I managed myself. You know oh, what's it's... funny is uh, it took me a second, but <laughs> I, I think I could probably uh, uh, agree with where Anon's going with that. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Because somebody, I'm not going to say names like Arcadius or anything, was really good in various MMOs for leaving people behind. Ago. Huh? That was a long time ago. A long time ago? In a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> a long time ago. I, I'm pretty sure I remember that when when you and Reyes hopped on the release of Vanilla WoW, uh, not that far back. I definitely remember it in the Old Republic. Before that, like I, I distinctly recall uh, hearing over voice chat. Go ahead, keep running. Just remember your healers over here reading the lore tablet. Exactly. Now I get to channel my inner healer and be the one sitting back fishing instead of moving forward with the rest of the group. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, you know what? You, you don't have to worry about that because Reyes is going to do nothing but run around in circles getting resources and I'm going to be fishing <laughs> right next with you. <laughs> the fishing is fun in that game. I'll it is. It, it is really fun, actually. I you keep saying stuff second. like that, but I, I, I have not once fished in a game. I mean, what what make what makes it different? What makes it uh, what makes it more fun than fishing in any other game that has fishing? All right, well, so in World of Warcraft, you had the fishing mechanic in such that. Uh, trying to figure out how to word this you could mix up my leaves from the other leaves okay um in world of warcraft you would throw the line you would either catch or you wouldn't depending on how fast you clicked mm -hmm. in new world and that's pretty much how it was in most most fishing genres i mean there's some click stuff for stardew valley things like that but in new world you have a fishing system that requires you to have certain bait if you're trying to catch certain stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you have to actually catch the fish, meaning that once you... That, that is generally the objective of to, fishing, is to catch the fish. Yes. <laughs> After you hook the fish, uh, you get a icon where it is how much of the how close you are to catching the fish like how far you've pulled it in versus how much further you have to go and then you have a symbol in the middle that shows a string tension where <laughs> it's you know green to orange to you know green yellow orange red and if you don't slack in the line let the fish have its head for a second you can snap your line and that's just damaging to the fishing pole and yeah just all in all a bad thing to do so it's it's got a really neat mechanic one that uh hmm. i haven't seen in a game before that's probably yeah. not the reason medic likes it but <laughs> well no, no 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 that is one of the reasons why i like it but on top of that again it goes back to what i was saying earlier where um you know you're, you're not just fishing to cook fish um, what? I don't know how far why, why, why else is. why else would you go fishing if not well, to again, cook fish I, I don't know how far Arcadius got into it uh, but the Crafting. fish the fish itself mm -hmm. yes you can cook some to eat but you can also um, 
emulsify the fish for fish oil, uh, which is used in, in recipes. Um, so you're you making vitamin use... D tablets? Pretty much. Uh, you can also <laughs> use them in uh, alchemy for certain types of potions. You can use the uh, fish scales. You can actually get fish scales and use those in um, jewelry um, or certain cloth items. Uh, I mean, it's like it's like you, you know, in real life, you kill a fish. If you're in a if you're in a survival situation. You know, you're going to eat the fish, but you're also going to utilize anything else you can off that fish. You're not yeah. going to waste anything. And in the game, in New World, you're not wasting anything. You're, you're going to use the different... You, you can get different things off the fish for different parts of crafting. Um... I mean, you know, this it's just... It goes back to what I was saying about the crafting system to where... You can you you can do any of the 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 crafts. You you can do any of them. Uh, you can do all of them, um, and each one ties into another. At least one more somehow. Somehow they're all they all tie in together. Sorry, I'm laughing at Reyes going that she's totally wasting the head and eyes. Is there something you make with the eyes? In the game? I, I don't know. I didn't oh. get that far. I just realized that I uh, accidentally left chat on uh, subscriber only, emote only. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but you'd had an attack recently and you're being... Uh, no, no. I, I, I've, been, I've been trying to get in the habit of when, a after I raid... Um, Switching it over to subscriber only and emote only, just in case somebody tries to do some shenanigans while I'm not around. Because from what it sounds like, they've been trying to target uh, dormant channels. Since most of the live ones have a moderator or somebody nearby. Well, they've also been targeting small channels. Yeah. Well, because the bigger channels are also likely to be live a little more recently, too. Because um, you think of somebody like uh, Grimly. Grimly's on there five to six days a week. You know, Beast Lord's on, like, what, four or five days a week? Oh, yeah, he's, he's so, all the time. So, if you're trying to do something, they're more likely to notice and fix it quick. Whereas, whereas somebody like me, who's on twice a week uh, it's going to take longer for something to get noticed I should probably also find a way to gift Beach Duck a sub just because actually no wait Beach Duck has Prime Beach Duck, send that Prime sub this way, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to waste each month. Might as well use it. Hey, you know, my brother, <laughs> my brother, both of my sons and my dad all have Prime. Mm -hmm. And I've tried to get them to to uh, sub Prime with me. And they... It's like they don't even. Well, I know they don't even get on Twitch half the time, but yeah, they're just like eh, whatever. Yeah, I, 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 I keep using my uh, Prime sub on this ex medic frog guy. Yeah, I'm sorry. He hasn't been on much lately, though. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him some uh, heck about that earlier today. <sighs> Almost done. More leaves. Must have more leaves. Oh. 
Oh wow, I don't even have jungle tree saplings. <laughs> uh, I can get you four. I have apples. You said jungle tree. I have apples. Okay. <laughs> Is it safe? Are, are all the bad things gone? Hmm? This is a mushroom biome. There better not be anything here. Uh, well, you had you had some skeletal visitors not that long ago. Oh, that's lightning storm. That's not my problem. <laughs> Apparently, it is. Oh, like <laughs> nice if I could uh, get these skeletons to come back, or only skeletons and blaze spawning instead of 10 million uh, <laughs> zombie pigmen. Are you getting just the zombie pigmen or the, the regular ones too? No, I'm getting regular ones too. Did you uh, replenish your your three trading piglins? Yeah, but I only went with two. Yeah. I'm surprised. Why, why only two? Because they weren't... Oh, crap. They weren't oh, crap? What in the world did that? Well, I was trying to figure out. I was up there on the platform. All of a sudden, all the piglins got irritated. Oh. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> but I realized they weren't irritated at me. <laughs> they they were do irritated. that. <laughs> they were irritated at the, the skeleton. It wasn't me. Um... But no, I only went with two because, uh, for some reason, mine doesn't work like yours did in the other, in season one, what um, you... where you could just put a whole bunch of gold in there and it spits it down to them and yeah. they, uh, yeah, it, it'll do that for one of them. And then the like, like if if I I have to prime it first off, I have to prime it. Well, you had to prime it in the old one too, where you had to push push the button to get the first one going. But but I have to prime it all the time. Uh, as as far as okay, so so I it'll it'll shoot one out and. It won't shoot any more out. I have to throw in, in the second one for the second guy. And then they'll look at it. Mm -hmm. And when they throw their stuff down, sometimes it doesn't it doesn't trigger the pressure plate right. So it won't trigger two gold pieces. It only triggers one. So if I put a stack of gold in there, instead of each one getting 32 pieces of gold, the first one might get eight pieces and then the other one gets all the rest because the first one never gets any more. Because it doesn't continuously trigger every time one of them drops something. I'm going to have to find your people. Uh... Because I was going to take a look at it and see if I could figure it out, but I, I don't have an easy path over there yet. No, you don't. It's just not hooked up yet. Not yet. Yeah, I got to do something with a fair bit of that, too. Because uh, the old one, it fed them one at a time. 
but every time somebody picked up a, a gold bar, it would automatically spit out another one every time they picked up picked one up. Uh, do you have them in separate chambers or in the same chamber? They're in the same chamber. And the gold is dispensing onto the pressure plate for the clock? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what it is, is... Well, no. Hold on. <laughs> look. And... So I've, I've got the, uh, so I've got the, the dropper sitting right next to him. It mm -hmm. spits it out. They pick it up, and they look at it, and then they drop it into the hopper. When mm -hmm. it drops into the hopper, it sends a signal into a comparator that sends a signal into a redstone torch that sends a signal into the back of the hopper or the, the dropper, which drops the next one. Okay. Yeah. Um, is the hopper backing up where it's not actually sending a pulse to trigger the dispenser or no, the dropper? No, the, uh, no, the hopper is not backing up at all. It, it doesn't go fast enough for that. Hmm. Yeah, because the way the way I had the one on the old server set up, um, where's a. Uh, They were they were standing on a carpet to move them just that smidge higher, and uh, so they were here, and the gold was getting dispensed there onto a pressure plate. Um. A wooden pressure plate because that does make a difference. So the first one would go onto the plate, they'd pick it up, and then uh, the pressure plate would release, pulsing that torch, which would dispense the next one which would sit on the pressure plate, and when they picked it up, it would pulse the torch. And that's how that's how everything was was clocking. Although I think I actually had that up by their head. Uh, so that way they didn't accidentally throw stuff on top of it. So they were they were standing on a carpet over the hopper to push them up just that smidge that they would be able to pick up something one block higher than what I got this set up at. But I just wanted to do a quick mock up. So the dispenser or the dropper the dropper would drop the gold onto here when you did the initial pulse. And then the weight of the gold on the wooden pressure plate would turn the torch off, and that way when they picked it up, it would power the torch on, causing another one to dispense. And so two, three, four, however many of them are in the chamber, could pick one up, and the next one would dispense, and uh, it would keep dispensing until it was empty, or if you grabbed the gold before they did. And shut it off. Yeah, I think that's... Like I said, that's, that's the problem I'm having is that it just it doesn't continuously dispense to them if they're not holding it. Yeah. It's raining again, and I don't have a fishing hole.
How deep does it have to be to fish? Cause I might, <laughs> I might turn one of these slime chunks into my fishing hole. There's my bucket of water. to clean up later, but... Ow! Of course, because you use slabs, it's going to be nothing but difficult. It's going to try to waterlog the stupid slab. Want a temporary fishing hole? Is that too much to ask? that sound <laughs> I've made that sound <laughs> although the worst culprit from it was that that alt f4 fun 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 as that was that is not going to be a regular anytime soon <laughs> Didn't have that much fun, huh? Somebody did. <laughs> watching, watching me fail repeatedly. <clears throat> of course. Finally do a little fishing, and what do I do? I get a bone. Oh, come on. It's raining. That means I should be getting fish, right? No, there's the fish. Uh, no, it just means you have a higher percentage chance of getting better stuff than trash. You mean, like the bone in the water bottle? Yeah, which apparently you're getting anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go fish that bat out of my sight. <laughs> oh no, violence is only the off. Half the time. I don't know. Depends on what game you're playing. Okay, I can go with that. I'm pretty sure violence is the answer far more often in Apex. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> though, though, you know, sometimes stealth is the better part of Valor. When you're alone and your team is like 300 kilometers away and they're still what? trying to figure out That never out happens. Lives. People always work cooperatively. What? What games have you been playing? Because I'd really like to know. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as I find them. <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> no such thing. Those games are unicorns. No, they're the ones where you bring your own party. Oh, well. There's that. Alright. I need five of each.
Still haven't picked up a puffer fish though. Is that still a random no matter what, or does that do or do you have to be in uh actual like uh an ocean biome or tropical? Um it's still an option, but it is the rare... No, tropical fish is the rarest, I think. Oh. Because, I mean, I've got I got everything I needed to do the fisherman quest before I, was ever, before I was ever able to change my biome, so... Okay. Okay, so... I have a turtle spawn egg, but that's not the same as a turtle egg, is it? No. No, you need two, two turtles to... It takes a mommy turtle and a daddy turtle to make a turtle egg. And some sand. Yeah. So that's not going to help me. I can... If you can find a way to hide it, I can teach you a real quick and simple way to... <laughs> <laughs> produced a uh, turtle farm. <laughs> but I can't be held responsible for anything that uh, Reyes may or may not do to your farm if I were to show you how to do it. can't. It's Skyblock. <laughs> she can't do anything. Uh, She'll protest. You don't have, you have no idea. She has ways. I mean, look, that, that's not to say that she won't remember it for uh, season three. But, but, you know, um, I, I would never do anything to go against our GM. Mm -hmm. So, just saying. I, I do not condone that type of talk, Arcadius. Uh, I don't feel your heart in that, sir. What if you play backwards what I just said? <laughs> this is what you hear. Show me. Show me. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I'll do the fishing later. How in the world did, I don't even see the uh, the thing to get a turtle egg. Uh, I know it's one of them. Do, do I have a spot for the water bottle? No, yeah, I do. I, it's over here. Oh, 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 here we go. Deep sea fishing. Was it the deep sea fishing that got you that? Yep, you can see the turtle. Okay. I might actually have everything to do that one again. Hold on. <laughs> then you just need a little sand and a little seagrass. Fred and Fran. No, Fred and Wilma. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. And I do this every t 
Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Fridays is uh, normally, usually, generally, Games Revisited. That has been on an unintended hiatus. Uh, I really, really do want to get back into that uh, this Friday. No promises, because... Like a lot of things here lately, the 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 spirit is willing, but the energy isn't uh, isn't always there. But I will be streaming something Friday, 6:30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, even if it's just another run of runs in Alt F4 and uh, dying in various miserable ways and piling enough enough bodies to not die from fall damage because I fell on all the bodies. Uh, <coughs> let's go find somebody to raid. Beast Lord is on playing Dragon Age Origins. So uh, let's go say hello to Beast Lord. I'm going to pop up the title, start the raid, and I will see you next time.